So here I have Let It Be Lee, and he is in the advanced division at Rocking Horse. So just working here on my prep before I enter the ring. I always like to do uh, a 10 meter circle, 8 meter circle, kind of like right before, as it seems to really kind of get us prepared and ready. So here I'm about to go down and he breaks to trot and I'm like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> and sometimes he just makes me laugh. So now I feel like we have our stuff situated to canter on down the center line. And again, Lee is, the struggle with us is always straightness. He is like riding a wet noodle. Um, so you see there, it's a really good view of how that right hind was leading. That tends to be the weaker side that he always has a little shoved out there, but at least it didn't. We, we weren't too wiggly. Now coming into our shoulder end. And this one's to the right, which can tend to be the weaker side, but I'm actually quite pleased with that. And he felt a little perturbed, honestly, about this dressage test. I think because uh, show jumping was going on, uh, you know, out of the frame. And sometimes that can kind of get horses a little bit on edge. So there, this halt should have been at C, and I was asking, and he just completely ignored me. So I lost some points with my accuracy there. And when he halted, he kind of stepped on himself. So we lost the square halt. So I'm just working here, managing his emotions a little bit. Pretty happy with that shoulder in. He's a funny horse, though, because sometimes when he is a little amped, um, you know, the judges seem to like it a little bit more versus when he's nice and relaxed he can be a little bit flatter so there there's a balance I much prefer to <laughs> I want him to be relaxed it makes my ride a lot nicer but he's trying so into the walk and now working on our free walk he has a really good free walk sometimes uh, he will curl on me but working on getting him to take the contact down and out you can see he's a little inconsistent, but again, we're still fairly early on in the season. And then the biggest thing is when we come back, see, I lost it right there for a little jig. When horses start to anticipate uh, the transition. So I do a lot of transition work when I shorten up my reins and practicing halting. So then they're thinking that we're going to halt instead of we're thinking of when I shorten the reins to canter. Because oftentimes shortening the reins is a cue. So I'll always have to be mindful about that. But sometimes the tension monster can uh, beat you to it. So the canter half pass was okay. And again, he's good at the lateral stuff because he is a Gumby. And now the flying change. Again, one of those where um, I asked for it and <laughs> he kind of didn't hear me until I had to ask a little harder, but the change was clean. It was just not over the center line, so I lost points for the accuracy there. We got a little wobbly on our center line. And now preparing for this change, which this is the harder change for him sometimes, and because I didn't get him straight, I lost the shoulders. The change was late behind, so we want the hind leg and the front leg to change at the same time. Now our extended canter down the long side, and then making sure I get him back at M, which that was a fairly good transition. And trot at C. Sometimes it's hard to do the trot transitions on the advanced horses because they're so used to doing canter walks and canter halts. And then into our extended trot. And finishing up now with our halt. And I still have to really work on kind of bringing that right toe in because I tend to shove that foot a little bit. But uh, he got a pretty decent enough score uh, to put us kind of in the middle of the pack. 
So now on to show jump. And coming through, this is quite a hard first jump with it coming right off the turn there. And I feel like he's jumping really, really good. Making sure I'm keeping the hind leg underneath. And now I'm going to uh, make sure I, I need to try to block the left shoulder here. But I actually, this puts me over a little bit on the left side, so I lost the distance there uh, of it being a six and had to do the add, which then uh, I got too close. He tried really hard, but um, that ended up me getting the first rail of that triple. And then I'm coming in here, and still I was just a bit flustered about what happened back at the triple, um, and that caused the second rail to come down. So I put that all out of my mind. Making sure I stay in the present. He jumped the double really good. And again, he wants, he's a careful horse. <laughs> if his jockey can get it right, he will too. Now coming into the final line. Really pleased with him. Just uh, those two mistakes on my part. So here's Leon cross country. And he is feeling super keen. He had jumped really nicely over that ditch and wall. And now coming up to the first, well, it's the corner combination um, with the left-handed corner. So my plan was to jump the outside line and do five. Uh, he jumped the ox really well, saw the corner, and uh, yeah. So in slowing this down, you can see he sees the corner and kind of cuts in. And then what happens is I realize that now we're on four and a half and I'm trying to steady. And uh, unfortunately, I just, he wasn't able to see it, I think, but a little bit, I need to ride him a little bit differently now than I used to, because again, look, he comes right back around and pops the corner, no problem. So it really has to do with my preparation and also the connection that I have when we're in the middle of a line and positioning the left shoulder you're going to see it from a different angle and I do think I ended up pulling on my inside rein a little bit too much where I needed to use more opening inside rein and uh, closing of that left rein but I ended up just pulling backwards on them and you see when you do that you take away their eyesight a little bit so uh, knocking off the rest this season and then he felt super everywhere else coming around here to this combination uh, which again, I had to set him on his feet a little bit to that corner, but he's good. Because again, he's a little bit keen and on the muscle a little bit. But going back to that other corner combination, I just should have ridden what I felt instead of trying to make the number work. Could have made the four, I think, and he would have been fine. So now coming to this uh, pimple combination, setting him on his feet, and then riding positive to the forward four. He did that really good. And it's always interesting, you know, when you have kind of a problem pop up on cross country because it, it can be such a mental game and uh, really just making sure that you don't overthink things too much and that you just try to go in to correct and, uh, you know, really work to figure out how to help your horse read the questions and uh, for you guys to work together and... Uh, Again, he's feeling super good here. Um, reading all the things. Jumping really well. And again, because I had that 20, I'm just cruising. I'm not really uh, going for time or anything. But again, still practicing jumping jumps in a nice rhythm. And now coming to the water complex. Which I thought he was really good through here. I made sure I rode up so I could get there on the easy. And he jumps that really well. And again, you can see the water from a different angle. Nice and straight. And then finishing out over the second. And then coming around uh, to this nice table, finding a good shot. 
and again he finished up really good felt good it's just now i have to go back and do some homework and uh make sure we are on the <laughs> same page about our left corner combinations super excited for him for the season though <laughs>